Hello. How's your week been this week? I'll tell you what it has been. It's been very cold, hasn't it? In fact, one night this week, there were hailstones. Lots of hailstones that arrived on the grass. <laughs> Doesn't feel like spring, does it? Although you can see the blossom. You can see beautiful cherry blossom. So maybe it's going to warm up soon. I hope so. Well, before I start today's story, do you remember I said this week we were going to talk a little bit more about the kingdom of God? Well, before I do that, we're going to play a game. And the game is called, Can You Guess How Much? So I'm going to show you some pictures and you have to try and guess how much do you think each thing costs? Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Okay, so the first bit is very easy. It's a picture of six eggs. How much do you think six eggs cost? Well, even imagining that they were very posh, uh, free range eggs, they'd still only cost about £1.50, £2 for half a dozen eggs. These aren't chicken's eggs, these are fish eggs. In fact, they're a very famous kind of fish egg, caviar. How much do you think? Tiny little bowl like that, with just that amount of caviar in it, might cost. Well, the most expensive caviar can cost £2,000 for 100 grams. Goodness me, is it worth it? Now, next comes this lovely bunch of tulips. How much do you think a bunch of tulips could cost? Well, I happen to know that this bunch of tulips, if you buy it in Waitrose, would cost you £20 to send to a friend. So, £20 for those tulips. Now, this is a tulip too. And maybe the flower doesn't cost very much, but do you see those three red stamens? Well, they are so expensive because they make this saffron. And the most expensive saffron is £500 for 100 grams. Can you imagine? And all it does really is make a flavouring for your food. Now, this would be a great place to stay overnight, wouldn't it? And it's not that far away. I don't know if you've ever been to Arne Pryor, but this is a glamping pod with a hot tub in Arne Pryor. And it costs £95 a night. And actually, you can buy marshmallows and barbecue and I think you can get um, fuel for your fire. So, all of that is really worthwhile. But this one, no, it does look very posh. And it is in an extraordinary place. But it's actually 72 thousand pounds to stay in that igloo and the reason is that igloo is at the north pole now that doesn't mean that santa's living in that it means that you can spend the night but obviously you have to pay for your airplane ticket and being able to drive out on skidoos or goodness knows what to get to that igloo 72 thousand pounds. Do you think that's worth it? I don't. So some things in this world are very, very expensive. But Jesus talked about something that was priceless. Now, if I was to say to you, put a cost on the best hug you've ever had from your mum and dad, you couldn't possibly put a price on it, could you? And that's what Jesus meant when he said that the kingdom of God was priceless. He said it was so amazing that you just couldn't buy it and you just couldn't get it by any other means than... Well, let's tell you two stories that Jesus told about the kingdom of God. The first story involves a man who was digging in a field. It wasn't his field, he worked for somebody. But while he was digging, he heard something clinking. So he dug and he dug a bit more and he came across treasure. And he looked about 
and nobody else had seen the treasure. So what did he do? Well, I'll tell you. He ran home and he got everything that he owned and he sold it. And with the money that he got from selling all his things, handing over the money, he bought the field. And when the field was his, so was the treasure. And Jesus said, the kingdom of God is like that. It's like a hidden treasure in a field. If you found it, you would give everything else up in order to own it. But then Jesus told another story. He told a story about a man who sold pearls. And if he wasn't selling pearls, he was buying pearls. Pearls are very beautiful and a little bit like chicken's eggs and fish eggs or caviar. You can get cheap pearls, you can get quite expensive pearls and you can get very expensive pearls. And the way you can tell they're worth something is how shiny and almost like a mirror they are. Well, this merchant was buying and selling pearls all the time and his pearls got better and better and better. And then finally, he found the most wonderful pearl of all. And he did the same thing. You can see in this picture all the bags of pearls that he used to own. He sold every single one of them so that he could buy the most beautiful pearl of all. But he only had one pearl, but he knew he had the most wonderful pearl, more wonderful than anyone else. And Jesus said, that's what the kingdom of God is like. When you have the kingdom of God, it's more precious than anything else. You would willingly give up everything to have this. Now that's a strange thing because you might think, how can you own the kingdom of God? Well, what Jesus meant was you can have the kingdom of God being part of God's kingdom in your heart any time you want. Now, in the first story, the man wasn't looking for treasure, was he? And the kingdom of God is lying all around us. God's love and God's way of living is lying everywhere around us. We can learn to live in God's way and be happy and content, even if we're not looking for it. That wonderful kingdom is there for us. But in the second story, the pearl merchant was looking for something special. He was seeking. And sure enough, that beautiful, priceless pearl became his. And he was happy to give away everything else that he had because he knew that that pearl was priceless. And Jesus says, when we have God in our hearts, when we want to live in God's kingdom way, that is the best thing, the most priceless thing we can have because we can know that God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die for each one of us so that we could be part of God's kingdom family. And that really is something that is priceless and forever. So God's kingdom is everywhere, even if you're not looking for it. But if you seek it, God will always make it available for you. Just remember that, that God's kingdom is for you and for me. And unlike the man with the field or the pearl merchant, you don't have to buy it because God has already got it ready for us. Every single one of us. How amazing is that?